Welcome to this very special two for one video where you get two photo walks in one video. Yes, you heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. I loaded up good old Portra 160 and Kodak Ultramax into my two cameras and I shot Strath Pepper and the Rose Hall Forest. Enjoy. My current camera setup has been absolutely revolutionized by these two small pieces of metal that I bought for my Mamiya. And now I don't have to carry a big ass camera bag everywhere I go, I just strap on the old Mamiya and I'm good to go. This image of the house in Strathpepper was perhaps my favorite image of the whole walk that day. There was just something uh, alluring about this house through these two hedges. I kind of second guessed whether I should take the shot or not, but I'm so glad I did. And it's turned out to be pretty, pretty cool, I would say. It's probably my best shot from Strathpepper. The pictures from Strathpepper had a very weird color shift and that's because the expired film was underexposed. When you do underexpose expired film, the threshold for these color shifts increases dramatically. And in all of these images, there was this very weird purpley magenta color shift in the shadows. I edited it out as best I could, but even still the images kind of broke apart. I think it's a result of me moving this film in and out of the fridge the whole time traveling. So I've only got two more rolls of this. I think I'm gonna park it for a little bit and switch to a different film stock for now. I'll be there. And if you get blue, I got the loving for you. Mm, yeah. I'll be there. Your heartache, it kills me, but your loving, it Need your love 
I've been shooting the Portra 160 NC out here in the woods. There's a little bit of sunshine, but my shutter speeds are around about 160th of a second. That's why I have good old Ultramax in the can on my Olympus. But yeah, we're almost finished with this walk. It's been pretty good so far. On to the next shot, I guess. Well, didn't finish the roll. Still got two more shots left. Might take those on the way back home. But now we're gonna pack up the car and go to lunch at a place called The Pier. The last thing I want to talk about is something absolutely terrible that happened to my Mamiya on a recent hike. I'm not sure if you can see, but I misplaced the film advance knob, which is what I've decided to call myself after this mistake. I was on top of a mountain in Scotland and it was very windy and this must have come off somewhere on the hike. It was like a 9k hike and I was an idiot and I went up and down the track looking for it and now it's unbearably difficult to load film into this with this tiny little film advance stick that is in the place of where the knob used to be. Anyway, RIP knob. Hope the mountain treats you well. I will say, when I lost the knob, I got some pretty choice images on top of that mountain. Here are some of them. And I finished off what will be for some time my last roll of Portra NC. So. Thank you so much, Portra, for everything that you've done to me. Um, I much appreciate the beautifulness at which you've rendered Scotland. It was rather majestic. Thank you so much for watching this two for one special where I took you to Strath Pepper and Rose Hall. Join me in the next video where I take you all the way to the west of Scotland to a little town called Alt Christian. And let me tell you something. You will not believe what film stock I loaded in my camera by the sea. See you in the next one, you beautiful suckers. That was the film stock, by the way. That was the one that I shot in all Christian. Just shh, don't die. See it in the next video.